What's up? What's new? What is happening out there, YouTube? My name is Aaron, aka Feldy. I'm a streamer over on Twitch where I've been streaming for the last 18 months. Along that journey, I have had many highs and lows and I've come to learn a lot of things. Like anyone who wants to educate you, I've made many, many mistakes. That's where a lot of my knowledge has come from. I want to make sure that you can stream, that you can succeed, that you don't make the mistakes that I did. I spent a lot of time streaming to zero to five viewers before eventually gaining some traction and then seeing things go and then lag and so many things along. I have made mistake after mistake and learned a lot of things along the way. If you guys want to talk with me live, there's a link to my stream below that you guys can find. That way you can dis discuss either this topic or anything else that you're wondering about starting up streaming uh, on my channel with me live. All right, let's get into today's topic. One of my friends has been talking regularly with me about wanting to start streaming. To that end, I went and created up a document that I am going to sit down with him and start discussing going through everything that he needs to be able to start streaming correctly, that he can, instead of spending a bunch of time as a zero to five viewer, making a ton of mistakes and learning and maybe burning out, that he instead may be able to just make a trajectory like this and keep on succeeding as a streamer. And rather than hoard this knowledge, I wanted to pass it on to you guys. So you can see all of section one up here on the screen. If literally all you wanna do is pause it, write this down and uh, get going, there you go. Alternately, I do run a Discord and I've got the full document listed in there under the resource section, so you can totally go and grab that there and follow along. What this is gonna be is me going through the steps a little bit more in detail for you guys. So here we go, section one, you and what you will do. So exactly as I wrote here, having an idea on who you are and what you want to do will greatly help you in starting out. This will let you come up with a plan on how to effectively launch and spend your early time so you can start off strong. Instead of just being, I'm gonna stream and figure it out along the way and eventually I'll succeed, I hope, um, having an actual idea, an actual plan is going to help you so much more. So I've got four questions here for you to follow along. What I highly recommend doing is starting up is either grabbing a pen and paper or uh, loading up the no uh, loading up a note software on your phone or just getting a Word document or whatever your word processor is of choice up and going and follow along. Question one. Why do you want to stream? Do you have a goal with streaming? Everybody has something that gets them into streaming. No one just like sits down in front of a camera and is just like, I don't know, I'm thinking about biscuits. Whoops, I'm streaming. I guess we're streaming. There is something in every single one of us, whether it and every single one of us has something that has drawn us to this space. So what I want you to do is recognize why this is and what it is that you want to accomplish. I don't care what it is. You could have the most selfish reasons in the world. You could say, I've seen streamers who make a lot of money and I wanna make a lot of money. There you go, that's a legitimate reason. It doesn't matter to me why you start streaming, but it matters to you why you start streaming. Because if you have an idea of what you want, you can start to draw a pathway from that goal and work it backwards to your present point. If you have a goal, you have something that you can put on a whiteboard, something that you can write down, something that you can use to track your progress and understand. If you are lying to yourself about any of the reasons why you are streaming, you're probably going to start to feel negative about things if you're not working. Because in the back of your head, you're like, I want to be a millionaire. And on paper, you're just like, yeah, I want to have friends. That dichotomy is definitely going to get to you after a point where you're like, yeah, I've got a lot of friends, but I actually just wanted to be a millionaire. And if it takes you so long to figure out, that's a bit of a problem. So here's a couple examples that I gave you with this question. Uh, for some possible examples, here's mine. I wanted to make a name for myself within magic without having to travel to events. 
or you can have ideas such as I wanted to turn my gaming time into social time. I'm not able to game with friends as it stands. I want to start streaming so I can talk with people while I game. Or I want to entertain people. Entertaining people is fun. Here's a medium to entertain people. My friends are doing it and I wanted to try out. Or like I talked about before, I want to make money in a way different than getting a job. All right, now that you've written down why you want to stream, and hey, be as truthful as you can with that before question, what do you want to do? Do you have an idea for your content already? So here's what I want to accomplish. Here is what I want to do. So now you've got two disparate points that you can start to join together. You can start to figure out, all right, I want to do this thing and I want to accomplish this by doing this and you can start to make steps between them. Again, write this down. Do you uh, write down what your ideas for content are? All right, question number three. Do you have a unique selling point? What is it about you that you can do better than anybody else out there in the space? Are you a better storyteller? Are you a better entertainer? Do you have knowledge about makeup? Do you have knowledge about video games? Do you have experience within a category? Do you have deep knowledge that you've learned through university? Or do you have a bunch of street smarts? What do you do? Anything, this can be called, this can be called different things. I've heard unfair advantage. I've heard unique selling point, unique sell, selling proposition, whatever you want to call it. What can you do better than anyone else? Because if you can't do anything better than anyone else, you are going to have a much harder time growing. Whereas if you can figure out what you can do better than other people, you can play off of that strength to make yourself stand out. You can find yourself a selling point. Now you have, because at this point you now have a goal, a thing you're doing, the thing that you are really good at, that you can modify the thing you're doing, and a way of telling people, hey, I'm really good at this and I'm doing this, and maybe even this is my goal in doing all of these things. For a couple examples, I wrote some things down here. I've been playing Magic for Magic the Gathering for 20 plus years, and I can reference intricate parts of the history in ways that nobody that few other people can. Or I seek out uh, secrets and legendary content. Everyone else in the space is creating PvP content and getting into crazy fights. I want to show solo content and PvE content that takes a very long time but has a great payoff. Or I'm really, really educated in the world of politics. Or I'm really, really educated in the world of microbiology. If you can, if you can manage to pay. If you can manage to pair what you are really good at with what you are doing here, or even better, take what you are really good at and make that one of the focuses of your stream, you have a much greater recipe for success than someone who just logs on and says, I want to play video games and get paid for it. And I don't know, I'm just going to play video games and they will come. All right, question four. In many ways, the most important for actually determining if you can stream, but it's not all, but you don't want to start with a question that can immediately exclude you from streaming. So question four, what is your available free time like? Is that going to be changing in the future? How is your free time looking in days, weeks, and months? To be honest with you, to succeed in the live streaming pace, you need to be able to stream regularly and to be able to stream consistently. If you have a schedule that allows you to do this, you have a much greater chance of succeeding. If you have a schedule, if you have a schedule that is allows you one day that you can stream for 12 hours but no other days in the week, live streaming might not be a thing for you. Similarly, if you only get 45 minutes a day to yourself, live streaming may not be for you. But if you have four hours every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday that you are able to dedicate to this project, well, you might have a valid foundation that you can start working on. Recognizing when you can do this project and how much time you can then allocate to this is going to be really important in understanding things. Now, a little bit of technical stuff. From what I have learned in this industry, 
you need a minimum of two hours to be able to run your live stream. Given that there is typically technical setup before each stream and just getting you in the headspace, it's very rare that you can just walk in at five o'clock, press a button and start streaming. So you probably want to budget about half an hour before each stream. So half an hour before each stream and probably about 15 minutes of sort of ending point, bringing everything down and just mentally whatever sort of shake it off that you need at the end of your stream. So you've got about a 45 minute extra window on top. With that, if you can muster at least two hours, three days a week, you're probably able to start streaming. The more you can do, fantastic. But this also has a cap at around six hours. If you can stream longer than this, even better, though there does start to hit points of diminishing returns after about hour six. Similarly, you want to note what if this will be changing, because you don't want to go hard and get a bunch of people accustomed to a schedule in the first month, and then suddenly you have to completely change your schedule. If you have to completely change your schedule, all the people that came to watch you in a time period may not be able to watch you in this new time period, which means that you pretty much are starting over from scratch, unless you have a couple other foundational things that we are going to be exploring in the next couple segments. Or if you find that right now you've got five hours a day that you can totally devote to streaming, but in a month and a half worth of time, you will suddenly only have five hours a week. Well, there's not a whole heck of a, uh, I would not recommend streaming for you. You're going to be able to go hard for a short period of time, but then any gain that you have whatsoever will be lost on that period that you can't stream. So how much time you can devote to this, or sorry, how much free time you have that you could potentially allocate towards this is a very useful thing. All right, now that you have all of this written down, you should have why you want to stream, sort of what that goal is in your brain, what it is you want to do, what it is that makes you unique or interesting or unfair or gives you something that is going to make you stand out compared to every other person doing this and how much free time you have that you could then start portioning into this project. Now, here's the wonderful thing about this. These num the All of these things can totally be sub subject to change. When I started streaming, I had a goal. About three months into streaming, that goal changed. Another six months later, that goal changed. Another six months later, and this goal has changed yet again. Your goal, your reason, what you do and all that can potentially change. But starting out with a good foundation and understanding all of this is going to be much better for getting you on the right track. And once, if you do decide that some of these things need to change, you have the rest of the things in place around them and you've already built yourself a pattern and some and a goal progression track and the like. And now you just have to rebuild it using one different piece of data, which is going to be a heck of a lot easier than like, uh, maybe I need to change my game because this isn't working. Well, I guess it's time to completely restart my stream from scratch, which isn't good. All right, everybody, I hope this has been useful. There will be three more videos in this series. Uh, the next video that you will be looking for is um, where and what to stream. Following that, we will have collaborative content. And after that, we have the final one. Let's get people into your stream. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can see these next videos. They'll be coming out the next, uh, each of these will be released on subsequent days so that there is uh, the bulk of them. If you're watching this immediately after you get uploaded, well, I guess you'll have to wait a day to see this. If you guys liked this sort of talk, or if you want to expand upon any, have if you want to ask any questions around any of the things I've talked about here or in any other video you've seen about me, either hit follow the link to my live streaming platform. My name is Sveldi on there. There is a link below and ask me these questions live or follow the link to my Discord there and ask me those questions in Discord. I want to help you with your streaming journey. I want you to have the greatest possible chance of success that you can. So please do not hesitate to ask for tips, ask for advice. I will probably hit you back with some questions to see if I can tailor the advice for you, but I'd love to do that for you. 
All right, my name is Aaron, a.k.a. Feldy. You can find me streaming on Twitch Sundays through to Wednesdays, typically in the Just Chatting category, where I'll be talking, where I'm talking about things to help you improve as a streamer, as well as things that are currently happening in streaming space. Uh, if you guys like this talk, well, hopefully you'll enjoy the next one. We'll see you guys in the future.